Here we're above Hevgen Lake outside of West Yellowstone, around uh, 9,000 9, feet here. And the foundation of the snowpack down here and in the Lionhead area, the Southern Madison and Gallatin ranges, is uh, this weak, sugary junk that formed in December. Since December, we've had multiple heavy storms <clears throat> on top of that. And with each storm, we've seen big natural and human triggered avalanches. These avalanches are getting more difficult to trigger. We just did an ECT here and it took a lot of force. We had to kind of dig out some of the slab to get this to break and propagate. But it is still collapsing and we can still trigger big avalanches. They're getting more difficult and there's less obvious signs of instability like cracking and collapsing. And we could see multiple riders cross the slope before triggering one of these. But if we do, it's gonna be large and deadly. So the best strategy is to um, avoid avalanche train, especially as we get more snow in the next week. We're gonna get, uh, it's snowing right now and over the next few days, we're expecting a couple feet of heavy snow. So definitely avoiding avalanche train right now as this week later gets more stressed.